Bill? Um, yeah, thanks. Why? Uh, no thanks. Stick it behind me here, smoke it later. Oh, but it is no good, dear. If you wish to inhale, you will need to be putting it in your mouth. Oh! Oh, what? Is this correct? You will need to be putting it in your mouth? Yes, yes, I suppose it is. This is my first effort. Spontaneous use of the future continuous infinitive. Congratulations. Perhaps soon I will use a future perfect continuous. Which is? Uh, will have been doing. So at the end of this year, I will have been studying English for 10 years. Uh, by half past eight on Wednesday, England will have been beating West Germany in the semi-final for half an hour. Very good. Soon you will have been speaking English like a native. Yeah, like a native German. <laughs> <laughs> You fancy Big Eat or something, Bill? Me play. No! Okay, touch. English, Tottenham Hotspurs. Oh, Gary Lineker. Yes, Gary Lineker. Miss Thatcher. <laughs> this child is insufferably cute. Yes. Okay. Okay? Yes, smashing. Remaining in the European Cup final, it's Spurs one, Real Madrid one. A lot resting now on Bill Lineker's experienced shoulders. He scored early on with that blistering volley, but since then the big Spanish sweeper Mendoza has kept him quiet by and large. Lineker has the ball. He's passed Suarez. He's passed Mendonca. He's passed the pool. He's made a lot of space here as Lineker for himself. He must score now. Surely it's a terrific run. He must score, and he has done it. Look at the delight on his face there. Getting quite nervous now. In two hours, we could be in the World Cup final. Germany's going to win. Do you know that? Nah. Oh, we've got a chance. I mean, come on. You never thought Argentina would get through, would you? Nope, hang on a minute. 
Maybe here. I'll try it. Goal! Incredible! Peter Shulham scores for England! Yep, that's the one. I'll sit here. I might be in and out. It is the World Cup semi-final, you know. Yes. It's football, isn't it? No, well, that's good, actually, because that puts Ian over there next to the lovely beer Gita. Oh. Why do you have to call her the lovely beer Gita? Well, she is lovely, isn't she? That's how he talks. The lovely beer Gita. You sound <laughs> just like him sometimes. Well, at least I haven't referred to her as my Teutonic psychic yet, have I? Couldn't believe it when he said that. <laughs> it was gross. Careful. Nearly criticised him then. That would never do. I think Birgitta actually does fancy him, you know. Is that why she spent two hours on the dance floor with you last night? We were talking about him. Better than talking to him, which is what you left me doing. And it's England versus West Germany. Why is she going to want to watch it with a bunch of English people? If Germany win, you'll probably sling her off the balcony. Oh, yeah. You know how you get during football games? Yes, but I'm hardly going to hit her, though, am I? Unless, of course, they win on penalties, in which case I'll cut her throat, the goose-stepping bitch. Oh, the crowd are arriving. Shield on, shield on, go and get your kill on, shield on. Here, give me an S. Hey, come in. Big Gita not with you? Ah, the lovely beer Gita, my Teutonic sidekick. She's coming, yeah, she's just paying the cab driver. Oh, and I bought some beer. Uh... Hello, Big Gita. Nice to see you. Hello, Bill. Hello, Frivan. Hi. Can I put this somewhere? Indeed. And I bought you a present, Monica. Here. It's some perfume. Thank you. Someone left it behind in my hotel room and Big Gita didn't want it, so I thought I might as well give it to you. <laughs> you still smell quite a lot of pickled onions, actually. I don't know whether you noticed that. You sit here, Big Gita? Drink. Oh, yes. Gita beer for Begita. Ian, has it ever occurred to you that a joke that is not funny remains not funny, however often you repeat it? It becomes even less funny, in fact, and then finally it becomes extremely irritating. Well, who rattled your cage? I am not so sure. I have heard this joke by Ian 11 or 12 times, and it is beginning, finally, to become something of an epic. The poor quality of the joke is making heroic the persistent telling of it. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Why don't you get the geese a drink, Ian? Well, I'm just nicely settled now. Have you got any tea? No, there's no tea. This place is far too expensive to have facilities. I've got a kettle in my room. I was quite pleased when I saw that. Oh, what, you brought some coffee and stuff? No, no point. No, I suppose not. It's only one more day, isn't it? No, there's no point in the room to plug it into. Some wine, that big eater. You haven't got any. We can get some on room service. It'll be expensive. What the hell? It's the World Cup semi-final. Champagne. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, this is Mr. Dispacker's room five. I'm in the um, television room at the moment, and uh, I'd like a bottle of champagne, please. Any vintage, Mr. Dispacker's? Any? Any. Very good, sir. Bill? Bill Dispacker's? Dan? Dan, what are you doing? Where are you? I thought you were in Burma somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is quite flash, isn't it? OK. OK, yeah. Kids. Looks like there's going to be another mouth to feed. That was Dan Hudson, the train spotter on the phone. God knows what he's doing here, but he's coming to watch the match with us. Right. Crucial moment. Telly on. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, Vigita. Imperative subjunctive. May the best team win. Certainly not. May England win. Good luck, Ian. <laughs> I think I'll read, actually. Or go for a walk. It'll be 
be the town's only 30 kilometers away. Good luck, Monica. I'll need it. That'll be done. <laughs>